what's going on guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy Jim graphics in today's video i'll show you guys how to design this simple but unique church flyer in Corel draw if you're new don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss any of my upload all right so coming over here guys these are the stock images we'll be making use of okay and this is the background we're making use of i believe this um this church flyer should be one of the simplest church flyer with design because it's very easy and direct all right so i'm going to put take you guys through the process in which we design this flyer so stick around this video and watch to the very end so you're going to understand so without any further ado let's jump straight to the video welcome to corridor guys so the first thing we're going to do and the size we're making use of is 10 by 10 inches all right and the color mode we'll be making use of is rgb because this is for social media purpose all right so right about that the next thing we're going to do is change our paper size so come over to your property bar make sure your unit is at inches all right then come over to your page dimension and change to 10 by 10 inches then press enter on your keyboard and the next thing you're going to do is we're going to come over to this and double click on our rectangle over here double click on it to bring this rectangle over here and um you can see we have a black stroke so to remove that black stroke come over to this this look look my look at my mouse all right just right click on this and that is it so the next thing we're going to do is import our stock images so to do that come over to file on your menu bar and um, select import shortcut is control plus i i always repeat this in all my videos now come over to this um come over to this select this images all right and thus then click on import then click and drag over here to just leave that over there so come over and import your um the logo we'll have the logo i'm going to put everything for you guys in the down description below so you can check it out and make use of it so this is the logo which we will be making use of so i'm going to basically place this over here and this is what we're going to have so like i said this design will be very simple and direct so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in this background we're going to scale it up just right here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my mirror tool look at your mirror tool over here look at your mirror tool just look at my mouse this is where your mirror tool is so we have the up one down left and right so we're going to use the up one to flip this just right here then we're going to right click to this background select the background right click on it and select power clip all right then use this arrow to power clip it into this frame if you're not subscribed you're not going to understand watch this video to the very end so you will understand the step and step process all right now i'm going to right click and select edit power clip why, why are we editing the power clip because you can see we have a cutout over here there's a white space here white space here so we need to align the background with the shape all right or the frame so click and right click select power edit power clip now click on the background right click and sorry just drag this way scale it up this way then basically you're going to just drag this up drag this up drag it up again and basically let's leave this over there and that's what we're going to have we're not doing much on this design like i said i'm going to bring the pastor all right the hosts then we're going to make this image as big as possible i want this image to be very big okay now drag this one down here bring it over here then right click select power clip to place it into this frame now basically scale it up a little bit again now to make this image pop very well come to your effects select adjust select image adjustment lab if you're using my version if you're not just click on brightness and contrast you're going to see it over there now click on this now you can just increase your contrast to maybe 20 or maybe 20 or 19 then click on ok now you can see the image all right now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to extract this logo from this background so we're going to go to bitmap select um 
mode select black and white make sure your conversion method is online ads then click on ok now come back to your trace bitmap outline trace line ads and wait for those to load so we have our before over here all right we have our before and we have our after it's going to appear here but this is going to take a bit a bit of our time so this is it this is our before and this is our after now click on ok now you can drag this one over here delete this one then you can see we have if you zoom out you can see we have some particles which doesn't make sense over here so just highlight it and um, delete them now what you're going to do is you're going to just um select this group it bring it over here reduce that to this and place it just right here and this is what you're going to have a church logo can be either here here or at the middle so depending on how your arrangement is going to look like so i'm going to just place this one here and reduce that just a bit now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in my text highlight everything copy it then come over to this and um, paste it over here then give it a white color so we can see now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the team after god's hearts i'm going to give it a black color now i'm going to zoom out this way all right so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our color thumbnail over here double click on it or you can use f11 to get this dialog box now come over to this um, color viewer come over to your color model change it to rgb then drag this point to the very end of this to get the perfect black now i'm going to break this apart i'm going to break this apart this way place this one here use Control plus k to break it apart then the font i'll change from this i'm going to change this font from this to this one just copy the name and go to google and get the fonts guys all right so this one this is the name of the font like i said i'm gonna put everything for you guys in the down description below so this is the name of the font we'll be making use of all right so this is it guys this is it so i'm gonna scale this one up bring it over here then i'm gonna scale this one this way bring it over here then i'm gonna scale this one then i'm gonna select my shape too drag this one over here now i'm going to cut this one use ctrl plus s cut it paste it here then reduce it and bring it just down here increase it a bit then bring this one over here and bring this guy just right here and this is what you are going to have you can choose to put it this way and um, scale this one up scale this one scale this one up then what you're going to do is just place that just right there and that is what you are going to have guys so i'm going to just leave this one over here scale it up a bit bring it down here then i'm going to bring in this dove place it over here scale it up a bit place it just right here the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this light flay all right you can see we are not adding any color to it just this light flay nothing more scale this up then go to your transparency tool go to your mesh mode select screen all right then uh, you can scale this up this way and um, leave that to that so this is how we're going to have this all right but i'm going to scale this one up again scale it up this way all right so you can see we have a cutout here there's something going out of the frame so we're going to just select our shape to highlight it and drag in here then i'm going to bring in this light flay again place another one here make sure you place it strategically so that it's going to make sense don't just carry light flare and put like this it won't make sense guys just put it strategically so we have a reflection of this light coming over here all right so this is what you're going to have so i'm going to right click on this select power clip place it in here right click go into the frame 
edit this and uh, bring another one just right here all right then this is what you are going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this paste it just right here give it a black color reduce it change break it apart using Control plus k change the font the first one to capstone book then um change the second one to trajas pro all right so this is what you're going to have so i'm going to basically reduce this just leave it as small as that then you can bold this one and uh, bring in this guy all right then paste it over here give it a black color then change it to captain book then go and select the big one the bold the bold one then reduce it this way zoom out and uh, bring this guy just right here all right then use um control plus k to break this apart then you can basically uh shift this this way give it some spacing then basically remove the boldness of this then make sure they are aligned together just as this just as perfect as that and that is what you're going to have so i'm going to just cut this one paste it here give it a black color then um reduce this break it apart then change this one to captain book then make sure they are aligned together so you can see this one and this one is not aligned so instead of you going to drag this one that is the wrong thing to do make sure cut this one this way then put a cursor here press enter press letter v then come to um your property bar go to your alignment select jo um, full justify alignment all right or first justify you can see they are all aligned now then you can bring this one here change it to captain book bold then give this one a white color everything cannot be black let's have some distraction over there all right then i'm going to select my shape too and um reduce this this way then um basically highlight this and um take it up a little bit then take this one up a bit take it up a bit then basically you can reduce this one bring it here make sure everything is aligned then bring the address bring the address give it a um, captain book bold it and um, reduce it this way then bring it just right here then give it a black color then what you're going to do is zoom out use your shape tool and reduce the spacing this way then make sure this is aligned properly over here take it up a bit then make sure they are all aligned make sure everything here is um, aligned then reduce this this way make sure you reduce it all right so i'm going to go into the frame drag this one up a bit then let's reduce this i want this cloud to be showing just a little bit all right so i just want this cloud over here to be showing so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in the location icon i'm going to convert this to bitmap why am i converting to bitmap is because i don't want the the background to lag like i don't want it to be heavy so go to bitmap select convert to bitmap select rgb resolution make sure it's at 300 then click on ok now go to bitmap select mode select black and white now just click on ok then go to your trace bitmap outline trace line arts we've been doing this for ages all right then click on ok now you can delete this one i always love removing the down part i don't know but i always see it on designs but i don't like it i always love it to be just as simple as this and guys in case you have any question this is how we design this church flyer very simple and unique church flyer in corredor
gone are those days when design is like when you carry all the bobo tigbo everything all the nyama nyama things all the background on this world to put on one design gone are those days guys design is meant to be simple readable and straight to the message guys thank you for sticking to the very end of this video and see you guys in my next video